What's, What's up, up Terabytes? Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios. And I'm Coach Jeremy. And today we are going to talk about how in the heck to sing opera. Yes. So this is a really elusive topic. And for those of you who aren't even really singers, but you just love watching the tutorials because I don't know why you just think I'm, <laughs> think I'm cute or something. Um, this is really cool um, because we're going to break down for you in a really tangible and understandable way why opera sounds different from other genres and we thought it would be best to compare it to pop because it's pretty far on the other end of the mm -hmm. spectrum yeah. so we thought it would be a really great thing for us to do to have jeremy sing <laughs> <laughs> sing a classical song but sing it the way a pop singer would sing it first so that you see how that vocal production pans out and mm -hmm. then we're going to show you what that same exact song sounds like singing in a classical approach. And then we're gonna kind of break down to you the mechanics of the vocal technique mm -hmm. behind what we did to change the sound so that you can try it at home in an actual and easy to understand way. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I didn't tell him um, uh, really that. Yes. He didn't have much notice about it. <laughs> so um, you, you thought a little bit about what you wanna say. What's the, what's the song? Okay, so the song is an Italian art song called Seven Crudele. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna expect, just sing a small chunk of it. Okay. Um, can you give me a G? Here is a bit pop. Pop. Okay. okay, this is the pop version of the mm. classical song Seven Crudele. Here we go. Seven Crudele, me fai longui. That's what it was sounding like, it was pop version. <laughs> but if I was to do a true form, it would be <clears throat> Seven Crudele, me fai longui. Big difference. Mm -hmm. That's a really big difference. So I I heard a totally different tone and texture, but I also saw a, a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. Why don't you break down to me what you did internally to execute both different sounds? Okay, so with pop music, um, a lot of times the sound is really, really forward. So I'm really, really pushing sound really, really forward. But um, in classical music, um, you're really trying to create lots of space well you create space in pop music as well but it's a much more covered space and in so it's, classical? yeah in classical uh, yeah. and so it's it's a little bit further back and um a little more open towards the back mm. um and so i think of it that way when i'm when i'm doing it. so i'm really creating a lot of space and really over um kind of exaggerating how much i extend and drop my jaw to create that space so you're saying then that it's more uh, of an elongated space here and that your soft palate in the back is raised? Yes. Like an inner yawn? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I see you also coming up like this. There's, yes. It reminds me of something I do in my eight week course called the puppet head. Mm, yeah. Yes. So we take like a piece of hair. I'm just going to do this myself. Mess up my hair. <laughs> but we take a piece of hair and in Jeremy's case, like a little tiny little nugget. Yeah. And, um, and you just pull, like it's the crown of your head hair and you yep. pull up slightly and you're just elongating the yeah. spine and creating this nice space in between yes. your vertebrae, which really then gives that soft palate a place to go to. Yeah. And it instantly also raises your eyebrows. We did a video mm -hmm. on fix your face yeah. um, and that's, that's what it's all about is that internal space to create that resonance cavity in the back, not in the front where pop is, mm -hmm. okay? Something I also noticed you doing is, of course, you rolled your R's yeah. because it's Italian, right? And Jeremy's bomb, so he can do that. But like, it's it's a different way of producing the words too. Yes. Between mm -hmm. pop and yes. classical. You really, much more so in classical music, you're really, um, we used to call them like close-up consonants where you're getting mm -hmm. past the consonants going straight to that vowel. And that is what drives the sound, is the sound of the vowel. You're getting immediately to the vowel as soon as possible. And with pop music, you still want to consider the vowel, but you are, you're much more, you you're, you're have more freedom to chew the words a yeah, little more. Yeah, more casual. Yeah, right? in pop music, I would say. I would agree. Um, look at you with that vocal pedagogical <laughs> Plosive. Plosive, yes. Yeah, I forgot all about that word. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to steal it. So, yeah, no, I mean, it's, I think it's more casual in pop and in, in opera. Um, classical music, it's very much intentional every moment. Mm -hmm. Like there's nothing, it's very, um, think of it like a doctor, it's very precision based, you know, very clinical almost, but still emotional. It's not like they, they sing without emotion, but it's just very, very intentional and precise. Um, something else that I noticed is um, is that both places, because you're trained, you were you were breathing in the right space. So um, a lot of a lot of this that we're talking about has a lot to do less so with support because technically you should be supporting 
from here in both genres, yes, absolutely. in any genre really, mm -hmm. but it has mostly to do with up here, mm -hmm. really from the chin up. What's yeah. going on with your face? What's going on with the internal soft palate and the and the expansion downward of your tongue to create that hollow, hollowed out sound? Yes. The rolling of the R's. Anything yeah. else? Um, nothing else as far as the separation. I will say that you know there are there is even though there pop music and opera music are. Um, or polar opposites yeah. in some regard, but there are a lot of things that are similar. You know, there's a lot of things. You know, since both of us are classically trained, um, that wasn't well. I know for me, that wasn't where I started, and then I got the training later. But there was a lot of things that I took from the classical realm that I could apply to pop music. So when you're thinking about that, don't don't feel like you know if you're if you get classical training, you will never be able to do pop music because there's a oh, lot totally. of crossover. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm one of them. Yeah, 100%. exactly, as am I. So you yeah. just think about, don't, I don't want anybody to think like, if I do one way, I can't do that one. You definitely can. Although a lot of classical teachers will tell you that but yes, opera is the only high art. Yes, and yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was constantly the fish out of the water. Um, I was, if I was singing pop, they said I sounded too classical. And if I was singing classical, they said- Oh I my God, that was me too. Yeah, so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I never belonged. I was just fit. <laughs> and if I was singing Broadway, they said I sounded too pop too. I was like, well, I, I just, <laughs> just give up. Whatever. Right. So actually, um, I'm, I'll do one too. Because Please I'm do one. I was going to make her do one because she put me out there. So it's her turn to do one. <laughs> I'll do one too for you girls out there who want to hear something. Um, and I will do, hmm, let's see. Um, I'll, I'll do uh, La Chico Pianga, since he did something Italian, I'll do something Italian. I don't know what key you guys have just literally thought of it, but um, let's see. Um, here's pop, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it does feel weird to even start doing it. I want to get all, get my posture right. Um, La Chico Pianga, mia cruda sorte. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Like, but here, here is here is a uh, a classical version of that. Lascia che io pianga mia cruda sorte. So again, yes, you, yeah. longer vowels. Yes. I can hear it too in mine. Yeah. And I'm not really I'm not really saying in my head, okay, sing opera, sing long vowels. I'm just being very intentional about the vocal production of the vowels yes. that I'm singing. I'm capitalizing mm -hmm. on those in a different way. I'm not going wide and forward, I'm going long and up. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really, guys, how to sing opera in a nutshell in a really, really quick form. We do recommend, however, that you train because it is a lot to yes. go over. This is just the tip of the iceberg, tip really. Of the yeah. So no, no professors of you know classical training in colleges commenting and saying that's not all we know that's not yeah, all we're just trying to give you a little snippet and we would love to help you on your vocal journey go from good to great in classical singing we're both classically trained a yes. lot of my coaches here at tss are actually and jeremy's one of them who does an amazing job so click on the description box below for private lessons we would love to help you and um, also check out the sing smarter not harder eight week course that's an amazing foundational course that you can take you can do that or private lessons anywhere in the world it doesn't matter where you live we will come to you via skype online so make sure you also subscribe click that notifications button and we will see you guys on the next one bye see ya